I'm sorry, Mom. I can't remember his face. I was only five years old. If only I had access to that part of my mind. Hello? Stone, this is Chief Roberts. I just got word. Federal agents are on their way to your office as we speak. What's this about? Turn on your television. You're gonna wanna see this. Hmm. And if you're just joining us, we have breaking news. Reports of another mind space terrorist attack, this time in New York City. Similar to the one from five years ago in Los Angeles, crowds of people are experiencing visions of monsters and demons attacking them. We're told that people are either injured or dead. Robert Spencer is on the ground for us in New York. Robert, tell us what's going on. What are you seeing? The Mindspace terror attack took place just moments ago. Crowds are fleeing New York City and the highways are jam-packed. We're hearing the same things we heard the last time, that the human mind cannot distinguish what's real and what's not. If you get hurt by these monsters in your mind, your body will believe it's under attack and experience injuries as if they were real. This one mirrors the last one, lasting roughly three minutes with monsters that are tall and menacing, having sharp teeth and claw-like fingers. Do we have an update on the scale of this one? The casualties are far greater this time. Hundreds are dead, perhaps thousands affected in some way. Either by injury or... Detective Michael Stone. What's this about? I'm Special Agent Jackson and this is Special Agent Lynn. We need your help with the case. My help? There isn't much time to explain. This is related to mind space terrorism. The attack that just happened? This time in New York City. Have you ever heard of entering the mind space? Entering the mind space? Welcome to the Mind Space Lab. Everything you see in here is top secret. A top secret weapon of mass destruction was created here. Not quite. Mind Space Tech was originally created to explore the memories and experiences of a human being. It was made to access the truth in a person's mind. It was meant to be an investigation tool for high profile cases and special circumstances. Unfortunately, the tech was stolen and modified by our lead engineer, Kane Freeman. The same Kane Freeman that was responsible for the first mind space attack five years ago. So he went rogue, 
and betrayed the country. After being convicted of manslaughter, he was kicked off the project. He became bitter, disgruntled, and angry. And you need my help fighting this Kane. Not exactly. Kane was shot dead at the scene of the first attack. But this new attack has the same earmarks as the first. And we believe Kane knows who's behind this. Knows? We need your help finding the connection between Kane and whoever is behind this. Behold, Kane Freeman. Because his brain is still intact, we can use this machine to transport you into his mind space. You want to hook me up to some dead psychopath using this crazy machine? Once you're in there, you can look for clues. Anything that can help us find the people he's working with, and how they've modified the technology. Why me? Why not one of your own agents? When you were with LAPD, you solved close to 50 cold cases and caught numerous serial killers. We need someone who can think outside the box. We've tried our own agents. None were successful. We need the best. Unless we're mistaken. Perhaps we need to find someone better. Someone who's not afraid. Whoa now. I never said I was afraid. I've solved every case that's come across my desk. I can handle this machine stuff. Stone, if we don't find the person behind this, these attacks will keep happening. More people will die. The smart watch we placed on your arm allows us to communicate with you once you're inside. It also monitors the strength of your connection to the mind space. Understood. Are you ready? Looks like I'm in some sort of dark forest. What you're seeing is part of his mind. You'll see a mix of things in there. Places he's been, past memories, thoughts, experiences, and so forth. Remember, Stone, we need names and locations of who he's working with. Look around for anything you can use. I found a note, left by an Agent Evelyn. She was the last agent from our team to go in. Her mission failed and she was disconnected. But not before she left helpful items for future agents. Ah. Uh.
This place gives me the creeps. in this place. If you get hurt, your connection to the mind space will start to weaken. If it breaks, you'll have to reload the mission. Mm -hmm. This is a scraper. I found some sort of underground tunnel. Looks like you found a memory of the Shadowhaven facility. You should see their circular logo on the doors inside. Shadow Haven. It's the group Kane joined after prison. With the exception of him, we've had trouble identifying their members and whereabouts. I'll do my best to connect the dots. some sort of spinning vortex. We call that memory passage. It's a channel in the mind that sends our lab a snapshot of your progress. It shows us everything you've done. Snapshots also save to your watch, so you can reload from them if your connection breaks. I see. You should also see a temporal vault nearby. It's a component of the mind that stores and shares items across the mind space. Thank you. 
Thank you.